Okay, last time we talked about the Doppler effect of uh, water waves. I explained the theory of how when a source is coming towards you, we hear a higher frequency, the waves are closer together, and when the source is going away from you, we will hear a lower frequency. So uh, the waves will be farther apart. So we showed the effect of that with water waves. This time we're gonna show the effect of that with sound waves. Unfortunately, I can't show the effect of that with light wave because you would have to travel very close to the speed of light, but when you analyze the light of stars, then you can begin analyzing their Doppler shift. But for now, we'll do the sound, the sound wave effect. I have what's known as the GLX Explorer. You guys have seen this before, and I have put it on 1024 hertz. And this is the note C, a couple octaves higher than middle C. So it is giving you 1024 both speakers. Then I'm going to put it on a cart. Imagine this is like a car which has some music on. And the car is going away from you. If it's coming towards you. When it goes away from you, you should hear a little lower frequency. When it comes towards you, you should hear a higher frequency, which means higher pitch. Let's try to listen for that. You, that one was very visible because you could tell, you could listen that it was higher. And now if we go away, that, that one you could hear also. It was lower frequency. The other way to illustrate that, simply just take some kind of tube like this and swing it around. Whenever the tube comes towards you, you hear higher pitch. Whenever the tube goes away from you, you hear lower pitch. This is the same method. Based on this method, we can find out that if a star is a binary star, their spectral lines will shift, red shift, blue shift, red shift, blue shift. So this is another way to illustrate it. And the another way I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get this uh, battery, just simple battery connected to a little speaker and it's gonna make some frequency noise with, a, with some frequency. I'm gonna take it, put it in this bowl. And all you do is just throw the bowl up Whenever the, I throw the ball up, it's going away from me, right? So I should hear a lower frequency, lower pitch. Whenever the ball is coming back down, I should hear, and you should also hear, higher pitch. You could, this could be a good child's toy that you could show them the Doppler effect. I could even throw it. As it's going away from me, you should hear lower pitch. And if I throw it towards you, you should hear higher pitch. Okay? Thank you very much. So you got to see what the Doppler effect of sound would sound like. Okay? Thank you.